So you go to your connect group. Most of our, I mean, our, most of our connect, connect groups, are, they're message-based Devo groups. So we ask, you know, what's your biggest takeaway from the message? What was your favorite Devo this week? And then you have a prayer time. It's just to facilitate a little bit dis- discussion. Then you go to your connect group. You're like, you know, Pastor Stovall, he was, uh, you know, he's preaching on forgiveness. And I know that's what God's word, and I know, but it's just not happening. How do I do that, and then someone in that group say, you know what, says, you know what, I went through that exact same thing a couple of years ago. Now let me help train, train you how to walk this out so that this thing doesn't become a setback in your life and keep you in a place of immaturity that God doesn't want to. Oh, you got you to gotta clap right there. You come, you hear things like, you know, I know Jesus, we, we talked about the love of God, I, I know that, but man, I'm just, I always feel c- condemned. You know that you have the knowledge. You know the, what, what the Word of God says. It's just not working out practically. Well, Pastor Stovall, they were talking about healing, and, and this person got healed. Well, why am I not getting healed? And, you know, the, the tithing thing, and I started to tithe, but I don't understand this and that, and this isn't happening yet. Are you following me? Or how you view yourself? That's why Breakthrough, it's one of the biggest groups that we promote you to get in immediately. Breakthrough is all about how to discern right from wrong. Wrong thinking about yourself. Wrong thinking about the people around you. It's getting your mind trained up what to do about those things of guilt, of shame, of rejection. Breakthrough, it's not a crisis group. It's a life group of training to help you discern what is right and wrong thinking about your life, what's happened to you, and how to get to a place of maturity in Christ and not stay in a place of emotional immaturity. See, here's the thing. We can be biblically mature. This is good preaching. You better write this down. We can be biblically mature, yet emotionally immature. Because we've never got, we've made an inner vow to ourselves. Man, I'm never going to do this again. We make vows and promises to ourselves, and we start to live those things out. We don't even realize we've done it. We have all these negative filters. We have these, all these kind of things. We can get biblically mature. You can come in, you can listen to message after message, and you can grow, and there's power in the Word and all of that, but there are some places in our life because of the pain, because of an experience, because of how we were raised, there are some places where we will remain emotionally immature. And here's what I want to tell you today. You can be biblically mature and emotionally immature, but it is impossible to truly be spiritually mature until you're able to discern the right and wrong way to view those things that have caused that emotionally immature immaturity in your life. That's why in training you need a connect group. And you know what happens? People can grow up, be biblically mature. All of a sudden, that, that thing doesn't happen for years. All of a sudden, something triggers it. Lo and behold, they've been serving God for 15 years, and then all of a sudden, after 15 years, just something happens and they freak out. Why? Because there was a place of emotional immaturity that was never dealt with through proper training in an environment where there can be a degree of transparency, a degree of it. Some things, listen, some things have happened with you, only you and God need to know about that. The greatest spiritual growth that ever happened to me was about two years after I got saved and I got in a connect group with a guy named Chad Daniels and a group of our friends. You know what we did? We just went in there. It was very similar. There was kind of a thing out of the message and that would come up, but then we just asked questions to each other. How do you deal with this? And how do you deal with that? How do you deal with this lust thing? You know how it is when you're a college guy. I mean, just lust is a big one unless... 
Oh, it's not for y'all college guys? Oh, it's not for y'all single guys? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Guess y'all are all holier than me. I, I thought single guys in their 20s struggled with lust from time to time. That can only happen in a connect group. That training only happens in a connect group. What's that saying? You, you know, you're keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real, man. Let me tell you something. You can't keep it real just on Sunday mornings. Anybody can keep it real. I mean, what do you do on Sunday mornings? You're coming in for an hour and 10 minutes. Oh, bless you, and the Lord bless you. And how are you doing? I'm bless you. And is everything going well with you? Oh, yes, praise the Lord. Yes, bless you. And we bless and we bless. <laughs> I'll tell you, we're keeping it real. Happens. It happens in a group. Real growth happens in a real group. If you want to keep it real and really grow, get in a real connect group and watch your life take off where you can get the training that you need to really feed on the solid food of the Word of God and have some wisdom and insight, consistency, stability, breakthrough, and blessing for the long haul where you can get a consistent application of truth and grace. Mm. Proverbs 27. As iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. Where are you getting sharpened? Where are you getting that training? Where are you training with transparency? How about Corinthians? I think it's 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Bad company corrupts good morals. How about Proverbs 13, 20? He who walks with the wise is wise, but a companion of Fools. Every time I see, I see that word fool in the Bible, I always think of Sanford and Son. Anybody ever watch Sanford? I always think of Aunt Esther. You fish eye fool. <laughs> it's lodged back there in the neuro pathway. It will never come out. I've tried to get it out in awakening, all kind of things. It's Aunt Esther's voice. It's still there. <laughs> he who walks with the wise is wise, but a companion of fo fo fools will what will suffer harm. Bad company corrupts good morals. Do you know why your Christian life, it seems like it's kind of stopped, and yes, you're saved, and you're on your way to heaven, and you experience some sporadic blessings here and there, but you're not really living that full life, is because you don't have a group where you have good company. Listen, be friends with bad company, but don't, you've got to have fellowship with good company. Be friends with people that are into trouble and all that kind of stuff, but you can't walk. You can't do life with them. You've got to walk with the wise. You walk with the wise, you'll be wise. You have a good company, you'll have good company. The reason some of you are stuck is because you come to Sunday, okay, it's good. By Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're hanging out with that same old crowd. You're doing the same old things with those relationships. Some of you single people are dating unsaved people. They are pulling you down. The Bible says don't be unequally yoked. Some of you men are doing the Christian thing on Sunday, and then you go into work, and you're, doing, you're saying dirty jokes. And you're hanging out with bad guys and you're going hanging out at the wrong bars? There's a right bar and a wrong bar. I'll give you some, I'll give you some slack on a right bar, but don't you be going to those wrong bars. And we just kind of wonder why we can't get that maturity. 
It's because everything that's built up on Sunday, you've allowed it to be torn down by Friday. Because you don't have a place where you can train for with transparency to take what you learn on Sunday and put into practice on Monday or Tuesday or whenever that group meets. I'm asking you, church, and this, I mean, we, we've grown so much. God has given us so much. His favor and blessing is upon us. I'm asking you, I'm pleading with you today. Will you get in a connect group? Will you get into breakthrough? They only, it only lasts for a semester. Well, I tried. I went to a connect group. I tried it. I didn't like it. Well, go to another one. What if, we, what if we lived our natural lives like that? Hey, you want to go out to eat? It's on me. No, I went to a restaurant one time. I tried a restaurant. Don't, didn't like it. <laughs> there are other restaurants. <laughs> it's so funny how we take things we would never do in our normal lives and get some weird, twisted view and put it on the church. Why? Because the devil knows when you go down deep in the local church, you're going down into an environment where you can really mature and get trained up and be a powerhouse for Christ. Whew. Here's what I want to say. When you train with transparency, you will be marked by maturity. When you get in a connect group, that's when you start training with transparency. And when you train with transparency, you will be marked by maturity. That's when you start eating the solid food. Because you start appropriating and applying the Word of God in the correct manner. Some of you have been taking the Word of God and taking what you hear on Sunday. It works this way, but then you take that same fork and try to stick it into a socket and then you get mad at God. Because your level of knowledge and understanding, like I'm saying, you know the fact of the matter, but you don't know the truth of the matter. And it's the truth that sets you free. When you train with transparency, you'll be marked by maturity. Father, we thank you for your word. Lord, I just pray right now, God, I believe you've spoken to us. Church, here's what I want to ask you right now. What has God spoken to you and what are you going to do about it? What has God spoken to you and what are you going to do about it? I pray right now that we would say yes to the training that's required for maturity and that training is in a